dinosaur fish? A little hand. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> Hi guys! Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back. This is our fun-filled Oregon adventure. Episode we... number two. two. <laughs> and when we left you last. Sounds like a murder Ooh, mystery. Yeah. <laughs> we were at Multnomah Falls. That's that fall that everybody can pronounce wonderfully. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then we were going to go to the Waterfall Corridor. Uh-huh. But then we saw this sign saying, Fish Hatchery. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was so excited, I, I didn't know chickens swam. <laughs> well, they're hatchery, but... Oh, okay, hatchery. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't chicken hatchery, it was fish hatchery. So we thought that would be a fun thing to go to. And then we would come back to the waterfall corridor. Which brings me to this point. We would not even known about a waterfall corridor if it hadn't been for my Instagram friend, uh. Becky, who lives in the Pacific Northwest and knew a lot about this area. And so she was like, when she found out we were coming there, she said, I want to meet you and you can, you, you can, you should go here and you should go there. And she was just telling us places to go to that we would have not have She's gone like to. her own travel agent. Yeah, really. And you're going to see some of those places in yeah. this coming up episode. So stay tuned for some more fun. And thank you so much, Becky, yeah, yeah, for yeah. telling us about all this stuff. And I'm going to put her Instagram account on here so that you guys can go to her account and see all the beautiful pictures she has of the Pacific Northwest. And follow. Yeah. And so stay tuned right now for this episode because it is fun filled. <laughs> That's why we call see it. See you that. afterwards. Okay. All the little baby fish start there. They let them grow, and then they release them in the wild. Ground here, look. Oh. And what are these buildings here? They're so cool. Oh, yeah, those are really neat. Those are those, those white buildings. <laughs> and where's the fish? Ground. Ah. Oh. Where'd you go? We're fish markers. Surgeon pond. Fish markers. And we're going to the trout pond. Well, I don't know about that, but look at those roses. That's what I like. <laughs> oh, the women will like the roses. The men can look at the fish. Look at these things. Wow. The fish hatchery, so maybe they smell like this. <laughs> I look at the color of that one. It's so pretty. That's nice. So now we're headed to... Sturgeon Pond. I've never surgeon live. It's three of stories of the fishies. Fishies. <laughs> Prehistoric? Huh? Yeah. Like little dinosaur fish? A little hands. <laughs> but these grounds are gorgeous. Look at it. Look how pretty. Even if you don't like fish, it'd be worth coming to see this. Big old trees. Beautiful. Interpretive dance. <laughs> Interpretive center. Are the fish dancing for us? This 
is so cool. It's really not what I expected. So then the ducks will eat the fish, I mean the fish food. <laughs> Look at they see the people here. What's that? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Was that a fish that did that? Yeah. Rainbow trout. So now what do you want to do? Now I want to go to the waterfalls. We're going up the waterfall corridor. So there must be waterfalls up there. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Let's go. Stop. I think this is waterfall number one. Maybe we want to film it? I think we will. Okay. Is that okay with you guys? You want to see some more waterfalls? Who doesn't want to see waterfalls? <laughs> right across the road from the parking lot. Not too hip shabby. Look at that. Wow. Look at that moss on the tree. We're huffing and puffing again, <laughs> and we just left the parking lot. <laughs> Bridalville Falls. We're I gonna... hope it's not too hard to get back up. It is going downhill. <laughs> That's not a good term. We're going downhill. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but it looks pretty. All right. 
We'll get back when we get it. We changed our mind. We decided not to go down there. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking for trails. We talked to a couple people and they said, it's very steep descent, very hard coming back. And we're easy like, going down. we'll just go to the next one where my IG friend said was easy to get to. We can just Google <laughs> <Yeah>. pictures. <laughs> yes, because we got other things we want to do today besides visit waterfalls. We're at La Laurel Falls. And this is supposed to be the one that's supposed to be easy to get to. So, yes, uh, uh. our friend better be right. <laughs> so far, it's pretty flat. Just one little steep area. What a beautiful day, though. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh, there it is. Oh, cool. OK, we made it to this waterfall. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, how do I get it over there? Go up. Up. Where is it? Oh, oh there it is. is. Ta-da! It was an easy peasy walk to the from the parking lot. So worth it if you're in this area. You need to visit this waterfall. That Laurel, I think it's called. Oops, I hear a lot of echo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I And then the walk goes this way. Over to the bridge. Which gives you a good view. Um uh, the waterfall. Okay, we did the corridor, uh -huh. and now we are on our way to Hood, Hood River. River, where all the kite surfers and wind surfers are. And, and there's a little bit of wind, so hopefully... You know what else is there that's even better? What? Food! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm kind of hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be fun. on that side we can see it better. These old buildings too. The part down by the water is really cool, but all the buildings and everything look real new. Okay, so we are at the kite surfing area. Yeah, it's tons of kite surfers and wind surfers. Wind surfers, yeah. Probably a hundred of them. All over the place. It's unbelievable. Some of them really flying fast. <laughs> it's fun to watch, and there's tons of people um, just sitting and watching them. Yeah. It's, it's really fun to be here.
are headed to Mount Hood now. Mount Hood! Oh my gosh! Go. She said there was we could get pictures of it here. She's right. Yep. Thank you, Becky. My IG friend. She's the one that told us to go to this place and she said, Oh, look at that, look at that. Gorgeous mountain. Oh my gosh. I think yeah, it's great. Close to Pikes Peak elevation, I believe. Really? Very cool. Never seen that one. Hey! There it is again. Oh, did you see that mountain? It's amazing. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's August and there's snow on it. Uh, and it's so pointy. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, let's see. Let's bring it up a closer. Up with uh, the trees. Oh, it looks so far away in the. It looks so far away in the video. Oh, man. I can't see it now. <laughs> it was pointy. Let me cut a couple trees down. Okay. okay. It's so pretty. What did you right. say the elevation was? I think it's close to Pikes Peak, like 14,000. Oh, awesome. Oh, quick. There's a oh, vineyard. Oh, and there's a vineyard too. Oh, that's oh, a nice plantation. Wow, it's so pretty. It's coming up, it's coming up. There it is. Oh, that's scenic too in the little yeah, but... area. She said the, Becky said that the, uh, the farther this way they go, the, the uh, geography changes. Holy moly, that's pretty. Oh, I'm so glad we came this way. This, this, this I just never makes realized me that there was snow on it year round. Because Pikes Peak doesn't keep snow, right? Oh. I mean, it snows in June sometimes. But... Yeah. Look at them. They're all, they're all walking away. Sure is. So scenic view here. Right across the street from Mount Hood. So we're driving them out around Mount Hood and we see this area where you can pull off and go down by the water. It's so pretty. I don't know what river this is, but it's really pretty. Oh, this is awesome. Holy cow, this is so pretty. Yeah. Oh gosh, this looks like a great place to just investigate, doesn't it? No kidding. Oh, oh there's a waterfall. I wonder how far. It's too bad it doesn't show you how far it is. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> uh oh. All right. We gotta go back already. We didn't get to go very far. We walked 20 miles. <laughs> we walked 20 miles, whatever. <laughs> we gotta go. It gets dark in the mountains quickly and we wanna get around Mount Hood and see if we can get some more pictures of it on the other side. So we're off.
nowhere in the mountains when Steve gets out the hoodie and his ski cap. <laughs> it's because you realize it was 70 degrees out there. <laughs> I little bald head felt that. Not cold, but it just felt good. Uh, I was having such a good time. The mountains just make me happy. Oh, oh, oh look at that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> look at that! That's beautiful! Oh my goodness. That's so pretty. Yep. We gotta go back and get a shot of that. You're gonna have to turn around. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was awesome. So, we saw this camping area. How would you like to camp here and have that as your view? Ooh, ooh, me, ooh, ooh, me. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> when we win that sprinter van. That is awesome. And they even have restrooms here. <laughs> Do they? Mm-hmm. You're kidding. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. This is so beautiful. This is every, the west side. Every side is pretty. Oh, there's a ski area there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Let's see. So, how did you like that episode? I hope you enjoyed it as much as we do did it. being there. And I want to thank Becky again so much for telling us uh, where to go east of the of, of Portland. We would have not have gone that far or seen all those cool uh, we things. We would have directly gone west. And... On, on this episode, we also did stop at a dam and we saw this plaque oh. at the dam and it was really cool. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. The strength of the hills is his also that came from Saul. It really just struck us and we're like, wow, we just, we don't see that much stuff anymore in the United States that really gives glory to God that um, that uh, talks about scripture and yeah, it was it just good. it just really hit my heart and you know I started thinking about what's happening in the United States I'm sure everybody here knows what's going on there's a lot of division and just a lot of hatred there's uh, rampant um, crime there's there's homelessness there's just so much going on but the one thing that I think that bothers me the most probably is the division that's here. There's not any unity and it seems like America has kind of lost its ways. It's it's built on godly principles, biblical worldview, and we seem to have lost that so much in this day and age. And, and I thought maybe this would be the episode that we could pray for our nation because God does tell us to, to pray for those in authority over you and for your nation. Absolutely. And we would just like to see God come back. We have a lot of prodigal sons that they were part of the church and that we just want to call those people back into the church, back into to, uh, to God. God is. I feel like God is calling them home and many more that have never known God that I know He's calling them in the United States. And we just want to pray for our nation and see God's hand move across this nation. So that's what we're going to do right now. And we just, I know there's people out there right now are thinking the same thing. Yes. This nation needs prayer right now, big just time. agree with us. Yeah, so if you'll just agree with this, I'm gonna just say a quick prayer and ask God to bless our nation. So, Father God, I just come to you in the name of Jesus and Daddy, I just, I just thank you for America. We are so blessed to live here, even with all this going on. We are blessed, we thank you for America. We thank you for our founding fathers that built this nation upon your word and your principles. And Daddy, we ask, Father God, that you would intervene in our nation and that you would bring us back, the prodigal sons and those that don't even know you. Bring them into your, your folds, Father God. Let them know how much you love them, how much you care about them. And Daddy, we know that you love our nation. You love all nations. And I know that you love the United States of America. And Daddy, we pray for those in authority over us, Father God that they would be led by your, your spirit, that they would hear your voice and know the way that we are to take the nation and that they would make wise choices and that godliness, Father God, would be amongst them, Father, and that your spirit would lead and guide them and bring us back to, to be of one mind and one accord in this nation, Father God. Bring us back, Daddy. Take 
care of all the problems that seem endless right now, Father God, because nothing, nothing is impossible with you. You know the answer to every single problem that we face. And Father God, we ask you give us wisdom and our leaders' wisdom to know how to deal with each and every one of those problems. And we just thank you, Father God. You have not forgotten America. You And we know, Father God, that you love this nation like we love it too, Daddy. And we just thank you for this nation and the opportunity to live here, Father. We just love you and praise you and thank you for it in Jesus' name. And everybody out there said, Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. It's all walking unity. Yes, hallelujah. So, um, just that we want to thank you guys for viewing and we want to remind you to uh, email us. Yeah. You know, you can uh, either email directly to us or you can email CTN if you watch on CTN or you can comment on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Yep. Either way, we'd really like to hear from you because it really, it really is great to hear from our viewers. Yeah, if you're watching us on YouTube, then like, subscribe, do a comment. We, we would love to hear more feedback, however you want yeah. to do it, even snail mail. And if you don't <laughs> like it, you can feedback, that's no problem. Please don't. <laughs> No, we're right. we we're blessed not to have a lot of negative comments. We've had some good feedback, but we sure would love to have a lot more. So yeah. Bless you guys, and we hope that we will see you next time for our next fun-filled adventure in Oregon. Woo! <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.